Well, welcome back to Midday. We are talking with Tom Friedman from the Callens Film Society about, of course, the Winter Film Series. And the last production in that series, Tom. This yes. is the last one tomorrow night at the Paramount Theater. Yeah, we uh, will finish tomorrow night with A Private War. Yes. And then get ready for the film festival. Absolutely. Opening March 7th. And I hope people uh, have got their tickets. Um, they're on sale now online or at Movie Mart or at the Paramount. It's a fantastic lineup for it that is. as well. It is. 23 yeah. films. 20 special events, Amazing. 10 days. Love uh, it. Yeah. Packing it all into those 10 days, right? right? Exactly. Okay, yeah. so we, we're going to talk about a private war because uh, this, is, um, this is a great one, I think, to end this series, Tom. This yeah. is a, about a celebrated war correspondent. Tell us a little bit about the synopsis. Sure. Well, this is a, a true story and, and kind of a sad story mm -hmm. because Marie Colvin, a New York-born correspondent for the Sunday Times mm -hmm. in London, uh, covered basically conflict around the world. Yeah. She, her whole career was dealing with what war um, could show people. Mm -hmm. She met some of the leading um, people like Muammar Gaddafi from Libya. She was one of the few correspondents to be allowed to interview him. Right. She covered uh, conflicts in Asia and in Africa mm -hmm. and in Europe. And uh, tragically, she was killed in the Syrian civil war uh, during the siege of Homs, a right. uh, city in eastern Syria. And this film really focuses on that particular war. And what it tries to do is not to romanticize what being a war correspondent is, because that would have been pretty easy to do. Mm -hmm. It really is about why it's so important to have journalists cover these events, yeah. because the truth is there, but quite often war distorts the truth. And people like Marie Colvin um, are able to try to bring an objective mm -hmm. uh, perspective. The actress who, play, who plays her is brilliant, Rosamund Pike, mm -hmm. who's fairly well known. I think this is the role of her career to date. Well, and it's interesting too, because you mentioned how important it is to have journalists, um, uh, you know, over there covering uh, the different conflicts. But I think what people sometimes forget is they too are putting their lives at risk. They too are, are right there in the center mm. of gunfire, at the center of all of that. Yeah, and she did not shy away. Marie Calvin didn't shy away from putting herself at risk because mm -hmm. she felt the story was so important mm -hmm. to tell that she was willing to risk her own life. Yeah. And of course, ultimately she paid with her life. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look at the trailer for A Private War and uh, give you a little sneak peek into this film. Ladies and gentlemen, Foreign Correspondent of the Year, Marie Colvin. Where did you get that eye patch? Uh, Treasure Island. I need a photographer. Any good? The best. Can't stop thinking about it. Unless you go crazy, it's not something you get used to. War is not so terrible for governments, for they are not wounded or killed like ordinary people. Our mission is to speak the truth to power. You're prepared to sink your country in the Civil War. What happened? They've opened fire on journalists. If the government catches you, they'll kill you. I have nightmares every night. You've seen more war than most soldiers. You have to take it seriously. I hate being in a war zone. But I also feel compelled to see it for myself. Because you're addicted to it. If the use of sat phone, those drones will know where we are. We don't have time! No one in their right mind would do it. Yeah, that looks phenomenal, uh, Tom. And, yeah. and, and you heard her say that right there, where she says, 
I, I don't want to be in a war zone, but I feel compelled to see it for myself. Yeah. And oh, that's yeah. exactly what she did and why she did that. Yeah. No, it's, um, it's, you know, they talk about war correspondents being a breed apart because it's a job that must be done, mm -hmm. but it, at great personal cost. Absolutely. And even if you survive, what you see mm -hmm. in a war zone is so tragic. There are scenes there of the, you know, the children and the families mm -hmm. who are affected by that siege. And it must take a tremendous emotional oh, toll yeah, absolutely. on people. And we're going to have, um, before the film, about 10, 15 minutes, before the film, uh, um, retired journalist Alan Bass, who taught for many years at TRU, is going to talk about um, journalism, mm -hmm. about why journalists are so important in our society. And yeah. I, I would urge people to come early. to the movie a bit early and uh, take advantage of hearing you know, from from uh, a former journalist about And that about this. sets the movie, movie up or the film up quite nicely as well. Yes, it does. And of course, um, please don't have to stand out in the cold when you come. So okay. get your tickets in advance. Yes. We don't want people to freeze <laughs> waiting to buy a ticket. Absolutely. But it's nice and warm inside. All right. Well, thanks, Tom. A private okay. war airing tomorrow night at the Paramount Theatre, 7 p.m. But, of course, uh, please go early if you would like to be part of that uh, talk uh, from Alan Bass. And, again, um, that will be about 10 minutes before the show. So get your tickets. There's the information on the website on the screen. We're back in a minute with Misa Manshadi. Stay with us.